Hello everybody and welcome back to Synapse. This is Ritika and today we'll talk about Tetralogy of Fallow. Well, what is Fallow? He's the person who first described this condition. So let's talk about the Tetralogy. It definitely implies that it is a combination of four pathologies, which is resultant of one main developmental error. So before we talk about that developmental error, let's look into the embryology the development of aortico pulmonary septum the septum that separates the aorta and the pulmonary artery here is a very simplified diagram let's see where in the development are we in this diagram so we have two ventricles the right and the left ventricle which have developed from the primitive ventricle and we have the muscular interventricular septum that is the lower part of interventricular septum and in the different color is the truncus arteriosus, which is the embryonic component which gives rise to aorta and the pulmonary artery. So here should be the formation of a septum. So now this septum has two functions. One is that it's going to divide the truncus arteriosus into two arteries. And the second thing it's doing is that it's completing your interventricular septum here, which is called the membranous part of interventricular septum. Now, let's compare the left diagram with the right diagram. The right diagram gives us the orientation in an adult heart. So if you look at it, the pulmonary artery is coming from the left while the aorta is coming from the right. So if you look at it, in the diagram that we have drawn previously, this must be aorta and this must be pulmonary artery. Well, we are definitely going wrong here because in the diagram that we have currently drawn, aorta is coming from the right ventricle and the pulmonary artery is coming from the left ventricle. Well, this must not be so, which means that the aortic or pulmonary septum must not form straight down vertical and if it does it leads to a condition called as transposition of great arteries or great vessels where the pulmonary and systemic circulation become parallel circulation that is they're completely separate and independent of each other unlike the normal where the systemic and pulmonary circulation are in series so if not vertical how else should this aortico pulmonary septum form? It must form spirally, like shown in the diagram now. When it forms like this, the blood from the right ventricle goes up like this, so this forms your pulmonary artery, while the blood from your left ventricle goes up like this. And that forms the aorta. Now, let's keep the normal development on the left and see what is the error that leads to tetralogy of fallow. Well, in tetralogy of fallow, the development of septum happens a little like this. That is, the septum develops more anterior and to the right of the normal position. Let's magnify this diagram and see what is the consequence of this error. So the first and the most obvious defect that you can see here is that the interventricular septum is not complete. That is, there is membranous interventricular septal defect. The second pathology that you can see here is that the opening to the pulmonary artery has narrowed down. So that is pulmonary stenosis, which is the most important pathology in the tetralogy. The third pathology here is the right ventricular hypertrophy. This is because the right ventricle has to pump against a stenotic pulmonary valve. So over time, it develops right ventricular hypertrophy. The fourth pathology is the overriding aorta. That means it receives the blood from both the right ventricle and the left ventricle. What I would like to stress upon here is that it is a right to left shunt. And like any right to left shunt, tetralogy of fallow 2 is a cyanotic condition. Bear that in mind. 
The symptoms exhibited by the patient depends upon the extent of defect, especially the pulmonary stenosis. Here we come to the end of the video. I hope this video helped you. If it did, like the video and share it. If you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, please do because you do not want to miss out on our videos. And hit on the bell icon. Thank you and see you again. Bye.